Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samolander Squad? Today, we are watching a match. So, this match, I'm actually, for the Naja, believe it or not, um, the red side. Now, let's look at bands real quick. They're all pretty good bands. I actually really like these bands. I don't know about this one. <laughs> that's that's a conquest. I mean, this guy's got to be a conquest player and just thinks Yamoja's OP everywhere. But or he just got his ass smacked by Yamoja. But I think um, if this was Hoi, these would be pretty perfect bands. So <laughs> she plays a whole lot of Susana. Holy shit! Okay, let's see what we got. Go over here. Both these seeds still. I'm just waiting on them to load in. Alright, they both loaded in. Let's go to items and see what they're doing. So you guys can't see the relics on, uh, on this side right here, but I will tell you. Damn, he started really tanky. Susano started beads. And the Naja started bracer. So Naja has bracer, Susano has beads. Let's see. Naja is starting speed. I think he's going to ward his blue. Always in is he invading? A little late to invade. Oh no, he warded. You can see his ward right here. Um, well, you can't see it, but there you go. He warded. All right. So he's just doing his speed. Susano is doing his blue. And then I guess getting to wave. I don't think Naja can afford to go blue buff right now because he started with Warrior's Blessing and Cudgel. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Cudgel. But he can out trade completely. Not bad, not bad. Susano actually used a health pot there. He had two health pots, I think. He used one. Alright. Oh, that was a really weird interaction. I don't think I've ever seen that interaction before. That was cool, though. Alright, Naja used her health pot. Oh, his health pot. Sorry. And go on to blue. Good, good, good. Susano's getting the XP camp. Honestly, everything so far looks pretty uh, pretty generic. Pretty even. Oh, I do wish Naja used his health pot right now, though. And Susano used his other health pot. I don't know what he's saving that for, like a rainy day or something. But Oh, he used it, okay. Ring bounce the wave. Oh, ult away. Good, good ult. Good ult. Oh, the Bracer, I don't know. I don't know if you needed that. Susano can kill you. So yeah, he's got a back. Oh, Susano's is clearing. Let's see if he gets this XP camp. He should. Oh, he's backing. Damn, red buff spawn too. Alright, Naja's going boots, which is good. That's smart. That's what I would do. He got tier 1 boots and tier 2 transcendence. I don't know why he would do that. But he's getting his speed buff, which is good. It means he's getting XP. And he's running over to contest with red. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, they're just going to back off. It's fair. Um, I actually think Naja can win this fight. Uh, but he doesn't have Bracer. Oh, he missed ring bounce. But yeah, as you can see, Naja actually does win these fights. They both popped some some potions there, which is okay. Uh, this build is really gonna be a detriment to him. Uh, you see your warrior's blessing is up, so you should probably try to get a hit on him. Unfortunate. Unfortunate miss. Um... 
Unfortunately, I can't actually teach people aim in the game. That would be kind of sick, though. Did... Did he get pulled? Did Najra get pulled? I don't actually know what happened. I do know that I don't know why he was waiting so long to Sash or why he was waiting so long to Alt. The Najra had two different ways to survive that... Um, that fight. So exactly when the Susano used his ult, he should have known that the the Najra should have known Susano ulted. I'm gonna get knocked up and butt fucked, right? So in order to counter that, he should have just immediately sashed to either immune the damage or um ulted in order to well not get CC'd. But he did neither. That being said. Uh, Naja has Ninja Tabby, and Susano has Transcendence, so I think Naja wins these fights, because he has Bracer too, Naja's Bracer is off cooldown, and, uh, Susano doesn't have beads, so he should know about those cooldowns being up and that cooldown advantage he has, as well as a build advantage right now, and understand that he can win these fights pretty easy. Looks like he's just going to farm, though. Which is another acceptable play, you know? But if it's me, I always take the fights that I know I can win. Rather than choose to farm instead. Because you get more XP and, and gold from killing someone than you do from getting a buff. So. Alright. He's just clearing it up. Susan is just farming. Um, alright, this XP camp is up, which I would like to see get taken, but not much I can do about that. Alright, Susano clears, and he should back right now. Or, or do this XP camp actually is even better. Nice. Well played by Susano here. Um, fortunately I still think that Naja wins the fights. But it seems like Naja is too scared to fight. I don't know why. Naja can win this fight really easily. He doesn't have beads. Just sash alt. Just sash alt. Hmm. Uh, I think this player in particular, the Naja, needs to focus a lot more on knowing when cooldowns are up and when power spikes are hit. Alright, red buff is down. Naja saw the red buff being taken, so not much he could do there. Naja backed just in time. He got a, a huge power spike in terms of Blackthorn, and his he's going to be able to pick up speed here. I think he doesn't have blue. Yeah, he's going to pick up his speed here. Uh, Susano's going to do the same, I think. Oh, he has blue buff on. Okay. Alright, but Naja wins these fights still, I think. With Blackthorn Hammer and a, and um, attack boots. Like, that that's the thing, right? You're just letting him hit you. Like, the Naja could have been auto-attack trading that entire time with the Susano. But instead, he was just sitting there letting him hit her. Hit him. Sorry. And he's not sashing. He's not ulting. He's playing so passive. Um... And you, you can't do that with Naja, you know? Naja is one of the most aggressive supports in the game. I guess he's technically an assassin, but everyone plays him support. And even as an assassin, he's super, super aggressive. You get in there and you fucking assassinate. That's your job. They're both waiting out this blue buff. Let's see who uh, who goes first. I think Naja should ring bounce it. Get the minis, and then back out. Perfect. Alright, so the Susano has no cooldowns up. No cooldowns. Sash, alt. Okay, alt, 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 oh! Please alt, dude. Oh my gosh. Why are you holding your abilities and putting yourself out of position like this? Sash him. Sash him. Ah oh, man. 
I don't know, man. This Naja is just playing so passive. You can't be that passive. Like, if someone is diving you and they have no cooldowns, they have no relic, they have nothing up, just kill them. <laughs> like, there, there, there's not outplay potential that he can do if you kill him. Naja got tier 2 defense. And, again, Naja has the advantage in this fight, but he probably won't take it. See, so someone's going to take that. Oh, he got a crit. He got a crit on that last hit. That was lucky. Um, Alright, so if I were this Naja right now, first off, thank you, Lucky Stars, he got the crit. Um, second off, I would do this XP camp, and then red buff, and then my XP camp, and then back. Because, like... You're not going to be able to get this tower in time. And if you do, what's that, what's that really mean for you? So he traded this XP, this camp right here, for a little bit of tower damage, which I don't agree with. Um, Naja, I think, can actually win this fight. Okay. That's a fair fight. He didn't hold his ult that time. Well played. Good sash. Really good sash. Use your two and now win the box. You can outbox him, dude. You can outbox him. Don't be scared. He has power boots. You have attack speed. You don't have to be scared of him. Okay, now you have to be scared. Alright. That's everything he has. He can't out-auto you. I think this Naja, for some reason, thinks that the Susano can out-auto attack him. But he can't. Susano has no attack speed items, period. And with how much defense the Naja has, there's no way that... He should ever lose the fight. So, Naja is going to clear this wave and do blue buff, probably. I would like it. If he did this XP camp and then blue buff, but I don't think he will. Yeah, he's just gonna go straight to blue buff. So Susano went back and got his speed. Um, and now he's backing again. Naja, I think, saw him back, but is deciding to back anyways. Susano finished breastplate. It's a pretty big power spike, but Naja's gonna do the same here. Um I think he's looking for what item to start. I think that's a Void Shield is what he's going to be building. So this Naja goes very tank heavy. He only has 77 power. As opposed to the 173 by Susano. Oh. Alright, you should box. You should box. Force his ult. Perfect! Perfect! Amazing. Now keep fighting. Keep fighting. Don't run. Keep fighting. You have... Okay, he has... Uh, he has beads, right? Beads is not a fighting relic if you have no CC. So, like, you might as well fight. You have Bracer. You'll win the fight. I promise you'll win the fight. You just commit. Okay, don't... don't. I don't know why you would aim for him. Oh, okay. You missed everything. <laughs> you missed everything. Hit the minions, bounce it off him, sash him. Oh, you're just going to give up the fight? Naja heals over time. Because of the, the whole, like, healing with the two thing. Don't back. Don't you dare fucking back. Oh my god. Why? Why would he back? Okay, well, he got tier 2 Void Shield. I think he's looking for second relic now. His second relic is Thorns, which is amazing. That's a really good relic. I think that's perfect for the scenario. You don't need beads. Thorns will be enough. I'm going to get in your speed buff. Respect, respect. So, I think this Naja plays too passive and backs too much. And, I mean, these camps right here, this and this, uh, you can't really see it, but this camp right here and this camp right here, um, 
I don't think they've been taken a single time this game. <laughs> oh, color me surprised. Never mind. There's one. Your blue is spawning. Don't back. Don't back. Your blue is going to get taken or bull demon. He backed. Uh, he finished Void Shield, which means he has a huge power spike. And instead of going Titan's Bane like he should have gone here, because uh, this Najah has 193 protection, um, he's going what I can only assume is a beat stick. What are you doing? You ran right past him to place a ward at Bull Demon. Oh, you can fight. You can fight. And rip. Alright, so this Najah should take the fight whenever he can. Like, this fight I would I would take. Because he, the Susano doesn't have beads. And you do have all. Ult him. Ult him. Ult him. Oh, yikes. Okay. Just run. Why are you fighting now? Just run. All the fights you should have taken and you want to take that one? What happened? Oh, I froze for a second. Alright, you do have Bracer up actually, and Thorns still, so... Alright, Pop Thorns, Pop Thorns. You know he's gonna combo you. Pop Thorns. Whatever. Yeah, just back off and, and heal up with your two. That's fine. Do your blue. Don't back. Do your blue. Hmm. He's not gonna do his blue. He's waiting for red. In a clear wave. Yeah, Susano got beat stick like I thought. He's going Hydras now. Um. I don't think it's bad. Because Najah's definitely healing a lot. Najah's dead here. Mm, he might live. If he ring bounces red, he'll live. Oh, he's just going to ult away. Yo, ring bounce something. Your ring bounce gives you movement speed. Mm, man. So I think... I don't know if this is just a case where he doesn't know Naja, but it's, it's it seems like he doesn't know his fighting potential. You know, like... He doesn't know that Naja can win these fights easily, and he doesn't know that his ring bounce gives him movement speed, and he doesn't know that, like, he can ult Susano's ult and shit like that, you know? So maybe it's just a case of inexperiencedness, but... I actually don't think either build is bad, believe it or not. I think both builds are pretty good. Um, but he's not playing the... Like, this build means you're aggressive, right? If you're this tanky... It means you play to beat ass. But he's being super tanky and running, which means the Susano is getting enough time to poke, get his cooldowns, poke, get his cooldowns, poke, get his cooldowns. When in reality, with this build, you want him to poke you, and then you want to punch him in the head until his cooldowns are up. That's the only way you win as, as Najah with this build. He's having a really hard time clearing fire minions, which I, you know, I expected. That's a lazy back. Oh, he wanted the fight. Okay. Pop thorns when you land. Pop thorns. Pop thorns! Good. Good thorns. Now sash him. Oh! Oh! It physically hurts me. Okay, you can still fall. You can still win the fight. You have Bracer. Mm. He has Bracer up. I don't think he can win the fight anymore. He's missing too much. Um, that should be game over. Could not be though, we'll see. But it should be. You turn back now. I won't have to wash your blood from my flame. Yeah, the the Naja was just honestly just missing too much. Um That being said. Both builds are pretty good. Both relic choices are pretty good. Um, overall, I think the other video with the Odin is one you can watch to learn more about builds. This one is a lot more about knowing your god. This one is a lot more about knowing when you can fight and um, knowing your positioning. And damn, he hit him with a spam laugh too. Holy shit. But this one is a lot more about knowing your positioning, knowing your god, and when to farm. 
And I think, I mean, overall, that covers, like, these two videos covers Duel as a whole, you know? Like, the Odin one is all about building, and this one is all about knowing when to fight and knowing when, when to push and, and shit, you know? So I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, guys, peace.